guys, Olga again with you with the latest news. So as you all already know, I guess Ukraine is under attack. We are under declared war from the Russian side and they openly invade and actually bombing all over Ukraine. But before I will uh, continue talking about local news and what's happening right now, uh, let me get a little back to the root of this conflict and explain you why Russia called this war the special military operations to defend Donbass and actually what is Donbass, Donetsk, Luhansk and all this republic and what is happening all around there. To start explaining about Donetsk and Luhansk Republic, I just need to go a little bit back and explain you the whole system in Ukraine. So unlike Russia, United States, Mexico or other countries which are federations, uh, where you can have separate states and they can have their own law inside and they can have some kind of local government inside, Ukraine is unitary type of the country and it means that we have one single government on top of the whole country and uh, the country is divided in 24 areas in Ukraine but those areas is just administrative units for better management of the country. Uh, another thing how all those regions are divided it has nothing to do with ethnicity with people culture whatever you can notice as per map that somehow most of these regions, they have similar sizes, some a bit, a bit smaller, some a bit bigger, but in general it's approximately the same sizes of the region, which again confirms it's just made for better management. So now let's go back to Luhansk and Donetsk and say how all those republics claim independence today. So actually everything started happening in 2014 when the revolution of dignity in Ukraine had finished and it was gonna finish already and our president Yanukovych escaped and all his government actually escaped. Ukraine became totally with no government for some period and Russia started supported and financed separatists on the eastern and south part of Ukraine. And as I understand their initial plan was somehow take half of the Ukraine for them and do any kind of further action with these areas we are not sure now but actually local population on those areas which previously were considered very Russian friendly they start hardly resisting and I guess Russia really didn't expect such reply so in Odessa in Kharkiv in Dnipro in Zaporizhia all those regions get out very fast of separatists they didn't support them they catch them they put them in jail so they kill them whatever happened and actually they didn't succeed on those areas and the only areas where they succeed it was Luhansk and Donetsk regions again I want to say that those regions do not represent some special people ethnicity or they are not some kind of republics even they're just administrative units for better management so actually the two areas which didn't uh, resist so much for Russian occupation they appear to be for eight years under the uh, control of those separatists and the border because they have common border with Russia were not controlled by Ukraine and Russia was keep supplying them weapons taking out the things and bringing the things and so on and um, such situation uh, hung for eight years. So it started initially from the full to uh, region somehow and when we got Ukrainian government they start fighting back these areas and they fight uh, so much and it was very heavy fights actually between uh, in all those areas and at the end they meet in the Belarus and they make something called Minsk agreement where they agree that there is some areas which is controlled by separatists, other areas are controlled by Ukraine and there is some kind of gray zone and it was all about weapon that you cannot use this weapon, you don't need to shoot, we are done, we are done shooting and so on. And for sure they always was breaking these uh, rules and they were shooting Ukrainians a lot, Ukrainians were shooting them back and it was always fight that you are not supporting the Minsk agreement and Ukrainians were saying that they are the one who start shooting them first and those guys for sure they said no we don't shoot at all we are super holy guys and the Ukrainian fascist is the one who is killing the innocent uh, civil people here exactly only in this area I don't know why they're not killing them anywhere else so anyway uh, everybody was understanding that this is all not real stuff anyway it was during eight years and 
recently a couple of days ago those people they declared that they are republics independent people two independent people's republic and actually russia uh, said yeah we are recognizing their independent republics those territory is not anymore territory of ukraine and those people they need special protection and they are russian speakers and they are russian ethnically people so they are not people with russian passports even there are some people with passports because russia start giving these documents to them but this is not the point even they are not referring to citizens they're referring to ethnicity and to the language and I don't know where anywhere in the world you can refer to somebody as per ethnicity and claim that you need to uh, save him from the country where he is living actually uh, by himself nobody keep him here if he don't want to live here he is free to go and live in any other country where he feel uh, more comfortable and actually russia announces that they will be supporting those countries to be independent these republics to be independent and in the next day they start military operation officially from those area protect those areas from all over ukraine and this is i guess initially how they was justifying why they bring the weapon and why they start to bombing everything around ukraine so what is happening right now till this moment till this moment uh, they almost bomb everywhere in all the territory as i said of ukraine anyway i'm sure this night would be really crazy i will try to update you in the morning i hope that i would be able somehow to sleep peacefully here and we'll let you know more what's happening in ukraine so please if you're not a subscriber don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications so you will not miss my new video thanks for watching waiting for your comments bye bye